Getting realistic hat mock-ups can be tricky unless you use a Photoshop file that you can mock up and change the hat color and the design quickly and easily. Hi, I'm Screen Printer Mike, and if you find this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. Let's get to it. All right, let's do the auto six panel snapback. I need a good base image for this mock-up. After using Google and looking at the red and blue hat, I like the photo of the blue. Right click and copy and then paste it into a new Photoshop document. Let's look at the image size. A thousand by a thousand pixels is good enough, but certainly the minimum size I would start with. Over in Illustrator, I've built a grid that is seven by three and a half inches. It has a red line down the center with a semi-transparent background. This will represent the decoration area for the front of the hat. Make a copy and flip to Photoshop and paste it in as pixels. You'll want to scale this up left to right as big as you can and hit return. Right click on the layer and convert to a smart object. Go ahead and name this layer Art. Transform this object and scale it down. I'm looking to keep the red line on the center of the hat and the left side where the hat meets the side panel. Now under Edit, Transform, Warp. You'll begin to shape the grid by clicking and dragging the handles on the corners. You can click and drag anywhere within the grid with the goal to make it look correct within the three-dimensional space. This takes some time to get the feel, but the grid and the center line are a perfect guide to get this into a good shape. You can always go back and tweak this, but when you're done, hit return and let's address the sticker. You'll want the sticker to be consistent on every mock-up, so let's make a quick selection and copy it to a new layer and name it sticker. Use the pen tool to get a more precise selection. I'll speed it up through here. Command click the shape to get the marching ant selection. Invert that selection and delete. There's still a blue edge so command click the sticker layer and contract the selection by two pixels. Now invert the selection and in the adjustments menu desaturate. Looks pretty good. Let's get the hat ready so we can recolor it. Click on the hat layer and select subject in the Properties menu. Command-J will make a copy of the hat without the background. Hide the original hat layer. In the Image Adjustments menu, select Desaturate. Command-click your hat layer and add a new Levels Adjustment layer. Now Command-click the layer again and add a black and white adjustment layer. You can see now in the Properties menu, selecting Tint will color the hat and we'll get back to that. Going back to the original image, use the eyedropper to select the blue in the hat. Double click on the foreground color and copy the hex code for this color. Now back on our new hat, click on the tint chip and paste the code into the box. It's a little light, but that's okay because selecting the levels layer, we can lighten and darken as needed. See how the sticker turned blue? That's why we have it on its own layer. It's time to rename the adjustment layers. I chose Color Hat and Lighten slash Darken for the levels. Let's make a red hat for our mock-up. Click on Tint and drag it up into the red and select a color in the window. It will rarely look correct until you tweak the newly created Lighten slash Darken layer. Once there, you can not only adjust the midtone slider, but also the highlight and shadow adjustments. Now the fun part. Show your grid layer on the hat and double click it. Because we made it a smart layer, it opens up a new temp file maintaining its original shape until we close and save it. I have this patch that I've used before, so I will copy and paste it into the temp file. It landed perfectly in the middle at the correct size, but you may have to transform your art using the one inch squares and the red center line to get the scale of your design precise. Hide the grid layer and close the file. Click save at the prompt. And there it is. 
At this point, you can always add a drop shadow and bevel effects in the layer menu to give it some more depth. That's up to you, but the template is complete. Save this as a Photoshop file and you'll never have to struggle to make realistic, consistent images of this hat again. Check my links to download this and many other templates for free.